Alright people, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday. <laughs> Alright people, I know, I know, I know. You didn't get your videos yet today. I explain more in detail on Tuesday's actual Daily Duels where I use Telenite, but had to come back, you know, it's not fair that uh, they didn't get, uh, Tiago and Luna didn't get their tag videos because of me. Like, if it was their fault, like if they didn't show up, then hey, that's on them. But when it's my fault, then I'm in the wrong. And clearly I was in the wrong this time because, uh, I was just wrong. <laughs> Alright, I'm assuming that this guy's giving that face because he's assuming that he's gonna go into infinity, but right now he's clearly doing galaxy plays, so... I don't know. Anyway, we are back. We're gonna be using them trains. He had that bottomless. No surprise, no surprise. No surprise at all. This guy has no extra deck. Like, I have no idea what he's deck is. He's running cards like bottomless, which, you know, are powerful cards that one that you generally would run in this deck. But no extra deck. It's kind of weird. It's like, it's like, yeah, I run good trap cards. Extra deck? Nah, who needs that? Like, maybe he's, uh, I have no idea what he's running. Especially setting. Setting, no extra deck. No idea. No, oh, that's not enough of a hint either. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> like, if he's just not running an extra deck, just to not run an extra deck? Or, I don't know. The thing I'm wondering is, is Tiago still using his, you know, the infinity deck? Okay. I uh, think because you know, he could have slapped a Nola, but this time he went to a Pleiades, which I'm assuming means that he took out the Infinity out of the deck. He's like, all right, enough of this. So the interesting thing is his tag partner, of course, has an extra deck. So his partner can actually use the Necroface as you can see. And the question is, what is he planning? Of course, he's planning on going to Dolama Train, which I'm assuming he wants to go ahead and send Plague Spreader. So now the question is, will Tiago allow it or not? All right. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! is a mind game. You gotta, you gotta think, you know? Seems like the most optimal play would be to bounce it, but not sure. Alright, so, he's gonna go ahead and ba banish Mally, summon Mally. Okay. I don't, I, I, right now, I, I don't know. Okay, you're gonna do emergency teleport and summon Krebens. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, now I, haha, see, ah, I was like, but you already use your normal summon, so there's not a plague spreader in your hand, but he special summon that Krebens from his deck using that powerful emergency teleport. Ah, cheeky cheeky, I get you. Now he's gonna go ahead and see, get going to that Beals, the problem is now he has to deal with the Pleiades, so unless he has like a forbidden chalice in his hand to stop the Pleiades, he's gonna be in trouble. Alright, he seems like he's gonna go ahead and banish the summon Maui again, okay. Now, do you have like another emergency teleport, or what's up, or is that it? Yes, he does, okay. So he has another emergency teleport, which means that he gets another sneak egg, including, including with a powerful Lava Chain, damn. Damn, this guy opened up really well. Really well. Alright, now I'm assuming he's gonna, he wants to scrap Beal's combo. Now the question is, what is, what is Tiago going to do? He's gonna go ahead and use Please Effect. Assuming to go ahead and bounce the Beals. In which case, if he wants to use Scrap Dragon Effect, he's gonna have to use, he's gonna have to use target Scrap Dragon itself as a level of chain. Of course, Scrap Dragon and level chain can't handle both of these alone, so he's gonna have to probably use Scrap Dragon to go ahead and pop the level chain after he uses the level chain effect, which he has not used yet. Whew! Whew! Uh, am I, hold on. Let me go to the way. Only Tenchi? Uh, is that the book from the library that I'm picking out? Alright, he's gonna go ahead and send the Mizuki, which I'm assuming that he's going to be using for the Plague Spreader in the future. Unless he plays some kind of zombie war or something like that. But instead of using Scrap Dragon Effect to destroy the level chain, he's gonna leave it there. Oh, he could do it in Main Phase 2. So, Main Phase 2, he's gonna go ahead and have Scrap Dragon to destroy the level chain to destroy the Galaxy Knight. Overall, not a terrible play. Oh, well, I'd have to say he opened up really well. You know, the armor gave him that to send the Mali, and then instead of opening up the play for your additional normal summon, you just use the emergency teleports. That's a pretty good play, I must say. Pretty good play, I must say. No, the question, the oh, the question is, what does Daniel do? Now the ball is in Daniel's court. I am not sure what I really want to do. See, I can go ahead and activate Machine of Fortress and pitch the special. But then the question is, do I ram into the, the, the Scrap Dragon just to pop it? Or do I play the Forbidden Lance? I, I, that's the tricky one. First, I want to go ahead and see if that card's an MST before I really get into things. Okay, 
so far it doesn't seem like it's it's MST. I'll go ahead and get my night express night. If I don't kill the scratch, I'm gonna lose my field spell though. I'm trying to think about something. I only get you going to use, I only get that effect only once per turn, so it's better just to wait for the end phase. I'm thinking about just go ahead and pitching Fortress and Pathfinder special summoning and then saving you for later. Wait a minute, I already used your effect, so yeah, I already used your effect, yeah. Because that might be the most optimal play. Ah, the question is whether this is a piece of background or not. This is an inherent summon, so if he wanted to go ahead and summon morning me, he could. But it seems like I might get this attack through. No, I'll go ahead and take that. I'll, I'll destroy the scrap dragon. That's best I'm gonna take it right now. I guess I gotta summon the ruffian card because I seriously doubt ruffian cards are gonna die again, again. Yeah. I'm not gonna use you because I'd have to pitch you and I really wanna keep you, so you know what? Yeah, I kinda messed up because I could have an additional 1800 damage in. So it's actually fine. Oh, so that time it was bottomless. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. So they both get bottomless. You can have that done, what I'm not at. Not at all. You can have that done. You can have that bottomless. Both of you guys get bottomless. That's interesting. Both of them get bottomless. See, and this is the reason why we run Marauder Kree and stuff when, I, when we tag build. Because we have to go against two times the amount of back row. So, instead of one bottomless, one turn to one solemn warning, you know, stuff like that. It's two bottomless, two solemn warnings, two vanities, six things change, six mirror force. So... Yeah. Instead, we're just gonna go play our six or decrees, and then we'll go ahead and just stop all of that. Is the idea? Hmm. Okay. So he's gonna, he's gonna go ahead and use his prize partner's Mizuki, which he clearly sent for his own play. So I really hope that you got something. But the problem is you don't have an extra deck. And see, see, this is the problem with not having an extra deck. You always want an extra deck. I don't care what deck you're running. Even Exodia, put an extra deck. Because it's called your toolbox. You need your toolbox. Because you might run into a situation where you don't have it in your toolbox. And clearly, he doesn't have it in his toolbox because he doesn't have the fucking toolbox. Like, like... You, you you can you can you can show up to work with your toolbox and maybe be missing a few tools and you just be like damn it I'm missing a couple tools but this sucks you know this man this man this man came to work without a toolbox this man came to school without a pencil <laughs> so there just happened to be a zombie for his tag partner to use interesting of course you're not gonna be activating that galaxy as photon effect definitely not. <laughs> You can go ahead and banish it and then use the top card of your deck, he's like, nah, no, thank you, I'm good. So now the question is, what is this guy gonna do? Hmm. So he set the dark hole for his partner. These guys are playing off of each other well, except for the other guy, he's kind of just using the card set. You should probably should ask the tech partner, it's like, hey, can I use your Mizuki? Now I'm not sure how much hindered this this guy is. Oh, another Krebens. That is that is definitely all three Krebens right there in the field. <laughs> oh, well, we used, right? Krebens, Krebens, yep. So, now the question is, what do I want to do? I'm assuming that every single time we target it for him for an attack, he's going to go... He's going to go ahead and block, but let's find out. Let's go ahead and uh, go into... Uh, Oh, I did not mean to activate that. Okay, it was just MST. That's fine. I didn't mean to activate the fucking the fill spell. I, I really didn't, but it's fine. I got to bait it out anyway. So I lose my fill spell, which is fine, but I still get a powerful Dora. Fedora. <laughs> a powerful Fedora. Yep, this is a Fedora now. Come with me now. You will get banished. So Dora can pop you in the face directly. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for paying 800 life points for nothing, essentially. So now, 
I don't have to worry about your tag partner even using the the Krevins to go into a synchro because he has no extra deck. I can see see how it feels you, when you don't have an extra deck. You you like lose a threat. Like uh, an extra deck is a threat that's always on the field. There is that. Hmm. Mera Fox Idiota Nerefax Idiota? Is that some kind of Harry Potter thing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I have never seen a Harry Potter movie nor read a book, so I don't know anything about Harry Potter. Yeah. But. <laughs> That idiota, like I said, I get some references for despite, you know, never watching or hearing or seeing anything from the movies. Like, I know some Star Wars references, I've never seen a Star Wars movie. Just gonna go ahead and go into the powerful Felder. Let's go into that battle phase, so let's see if his tag partner this time has the answer again. He's gonna go ahead and activate Krebin's effect. So, Rand, Chain. Get your effect. So thanks once again. Thank you for paying me at 100, and I uh, get smacked in the face again. <laughs> so his tag partner is officially out of Krevins. That's it. No more Krevins. Inferno fucking Tempest. Wow. Wow. Oh, unless you have like a battle fader in your hand, that's game. Effective assault, so I can. Oh, whatever. Damn, he just called him stupid. Like, you're stupid, man. Like, he pretty much took Tiago out of the duel, so I don't even know what you're calling him stupid. It's just we had, you know, if our field wasn't set up, you might have had something. You burned through your resources, and we put up a field too powerful for you to handle. And the other guy, he really didn't do much. Oh, let's go ahead and get another duel in. Be right back. Alright, we're back. Alright, looks like Tiago is going first. Let's see what Mr. Tiago does. Alright, let's go ahead and summon the Galaxy Wizard. I'm surprised Tiago, when he said the rules, didn't step to draw a card. I guess he's just like, you know, I forget it. We're not going back to that. Player one will draw five cards, so I guess I'll accept it. Or maybe he just hosted without thinking, and then. I can't, I can't remember who won the so I wasn't paying attention. So. Either way, I'm not sure how Tiago opened. Or maybe he just doesn't want to overextend. Amazon Swordswoman, okay. Hmm. Once again, get these kind of hands that aren't the most optimal. You know, it's definitely not a first turn Dora. You got MST? No? Alright, and then I will go ahead and give you that. I'll go ahead and summon your frame. Frame, make your effect. You got something? Fingers chain. Mm. Question is, should I allow you to have that or not? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and last block that because I actually want my search. did that is because I was thinking about letting it go but then you know apply pressure because you don't have a 15 monster to be 1800 beat it but then why well, let it go and I could just allow the fortress to be more pressure so videos in mind game 
Oh. Out the door. And now I'm really feeling this train with this flight. And like I said, at this point, gear frame service. I guess I could have equipped. Kind of forgot about that. I should have probably equipped. Just probably forgetting about that effect when it comes to gear frame. Just because I don't use it that often. It's like, yeah, I have two monsters on Fail 18 beer. I totally forget. I'm like, oh, you can equip. And then, you know. Let off all that Phoenix chain, so oops. My bad. I misplayed. Raise your hand if you misplayed. Then you misplayed. Oh well. Sorry. I was so busy talking, trying to explain my plans that I, <laughs> I messed up on part of my plans. But like I said, I don't use Gear Friends effect that often. Seems like my plan is working, unless this guy's playing something slow and wants to bait us. But seems like the gear frame might, I mean, the fortress might be applying pressure. Like I said, fortress is a pretty heavy pressuring monster. You know, once destroy it, I have to go ahead and so the card my opponent controls and pop it. You target it by a monster effect. Generally, you know, easy outs would be like one on one or cast spell. Like you pick something from your hand. So, you know, generally a powerful card. So that's why I was assuming the reason why he went ahead and grabbed the galaxy eyes. It's because he had the Galaxy Soldier in hand and he didn't want to overextend. Could he have, you know, when, you know, Galaxy Soldier pitch, special search for, you know, get Galaxy Knight, Galaxy Knight, them, make a fell grand first turn? He, yes, he could have. But, um, maybe he just wanted to go ahead and pick the dual slow. So, maybe he's like, it's not worth it to go first turn fell grand. Generally it is, but, I don't know. Like I said, I'm assuming he had the Galaxy Soldier. For all I know, he just popped back into it. I wasn't paying attention. Like usual, Dan Nerd didn't pay attention. Am I, am I an into, intellectual duelist? Yes. Do I pay attention all the fucking time? No. <laughs> yeah, it's that Felgrim. So, now at this point, I'm gonna have to take the duel slow. Can I make it? Do I have the cards to make a door? Yes. Do I have the filth space? Clearly no. <laughs> Not unless he, they kill this galaxy order. And he's gonna go ahead and activate the insta fusion. So, uh, yeah. I guess here comes the Pleiades too. Like I said, he's not, I, he talked to me about it and he said he's not going to run the Infinity, and like I said, if he ran the Infinity, he could have made an Infinity last duel, but I think he just took it out, so, just plead his time. Or if he is, if, or if the Infinity isn't there, I don't think he's running Cyber Dragons with it. We'll see, so, just went ahead and go, go into a Tyrus, so he can go ahead and just destroy one of the cards, I'm assuming. And of course, Tyrus cannot be destroyed by card effect, so, that is a mere force. Oh, okay. It's that deck that Lunar used that one time. So, of course, I'm just destroyed. You get to go ahead and search for, a, like, a warrior spellcaster like, during the end phase. With 2,000 attacker left. <sighs> so, is this just a attacker? I think I'll get this card attack. attack. Okay. Like, I can't remember. It's been since all the time since so I wasn't sure if you had to, like, destroy a monster or not. Tyrus. I'm not sure what card Tyrus will pop. I'm not sure which one is more of a threat. I'm kind of assuming. Because that my plays one off without a hitch with me playing, and I'm not sure about the other. About this new card set that sideways is facing. I'm not sure how the, what the threat level of that is either. Might be. Okay. So I guess that's for our back row that we're not playing. <laughs> so I think its effect is still negated, so. It'll still just say no. Yeah. Which is totally my bad, because I could have I could have literally just equipped and then Tail could have unequipped it. So and we kinda just completely got the finish chain got into show eighteen hundred. So if we lose because we didn't get that eighteen hundred and then it's totally my fault. Right now this fill seems like it's plenty. And I'm not doing much right now. Or at least I don't need to do much right now. Like I said, if this is the same field that is on the field when it comes to my turn, I don't have room to do anything unless I fucking want to summon another fortress and go into like a big eye or something. Is big eye in my deck? I'm not sure. I think it maybe is, but that just doesn't seem like a play I would really do. This man gets his pendulum scale search. And the question is, can he survive and be able to come back into the duel? With the use of their pendulum scales. So this is a pretty threatening field. And this field is nothing to scoff at, so I wanna go ahead and see how they handle this situation or is this still just over.
So I'm not even sure if we're using the Amazon as a deck with the Amazon Sword Woman, or are you trying to be cute and trying to burn us? Like that's it, so I'm not sure. Holy shit! Wow, okay, the calibrator. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> Raise your hand if you fucking saw that coming. Anybody? No? So I thought. Shit, now we're both at 96. <laughs> Holy shit. Whew. The power. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and attack first. And then main phase two, I'll summon that express knight, summon the Mmm. That's the question though. Do I want to use the decrane? That's the question though. Do I want to use the crane? The only reason why I'm thinking about using the crane is because then during his turn, whenever he does something, I can go ahead and just pop. Okay, they're scooped. I'm overthinking it. Let's get in the. Uh, yeah, we'll get one more duel. Right back. Alright, let's get this last duel over with and call it a video. And then you guys can put your freaking pitchforks down. Okay, so I did get the first turn glass. Powerful uh, Night Express Knight with the Decrane, but I also got two of the fill spells. And then I guess, uh, man, technically I could, with these three, go into a Super Chocolate Fudge Cover if I wanted to, but probably not going to be necessary, like I said. With that Infinity backing me up that one time, oh, it's Powerful Magician. This, this card is power. Like, this card, this card is like a balanced version of, um, oh my god, what is the fucking card I'm thinking of? Raw Magical Library. Because you're getting bonuses for activating spell cards. Like I said, you were going to activate this spell card anyway and summon this bitch. You know, you're already going to do that. But because you, now you get pairing her, you get, you know, pluses. You know? Pendulum <laughs> shunning. I already got summon this bitch. Oh, wow. Well, we cannot do anything. Of course, it says that Molly's monster control cannot be targeted. Uh, by effects or destroyed by battle, but then this says that uh, uh, Melodious Monsters can't be destroyed by card effects, so uh, yeah, we are pretty much locked out of the duel. Wow, oh, wow, oh, that locks up. Oh, that is true. Yeah, if you have 106, then fucking wreck. I mean, 106, 107. That Tachyon Dragon, because he'll go ahead and just negate their effects and then run it over, so the power. So he's literally, he's just getting pluses. He's got his three counters. Can he go higher than... Can, does it go higher than three counters? I think it does go higher than three counters, but you can only activate the effect once per turn, which is what you need to do with Royal Magical Library. Like, if you want to go ahead and ban Royal Magical Library and bring it back, or erod it or something, just say once per turn. It would still be a really good card. It just wouldn't be the fucking busted, looping piece of shit that it is right now. You know? Because you're, like I said, in... In, uh... And the fuck is that? What? The chicken race, you're already gonna activate those spell cards, so you're already you're plussing off of nothing, 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 nothing. <laughs> but then when you go ahead and take into consideration and factor that uh, it's only once per turn, you can only do it once. Oh, you put that overlay booster back in. All right, well there's Pleiades and Dante on I'm assuming, which will, of course kill those two and. That's all she wrote. This man is essentially out of the duel because they'll have two cards left. Like I said, the, thing, the good thing with the pendulum scales is that you get access to the pendulum summon and stuff like that. The, oh, well, you get to search off of this. The problem with the pendulum is that, uh... Oh, and he's going to go ahead and do that so that he can't freaking, uh... Talk about... Is this just for monsters or all cards? All face of monsters. I don't feel okay. So, because that card, of course, can like, destroy itself and the pendulum scale to go ahead and stop the battle phase. So, instead, he won't please and bounce that, then he's gonna go ahead and kill these two. So, that, that, Tiago. Tiago's on the ball. Like, these two make me proud, Tiago and Lunar. <laughs> the tag partners. The Salvation have, like, some tag tournament and. Tiago and Lunar are tag partners and they're actually named Team uh, Mastery. Ooh! Oh, oh my god. 
Tiago Yuna, man. I I wouldn't even have thought of that. I'd go ahead and destroy her. She goes to extra but now she loses all her counters. Like Tiago just put this man out of commission. Tiago just put this man out of commission. Is that forever? I did not know realize that this was forever. Forever. Oh, it's a go 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 that go 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 Gonna go ahead and attack, use the powerful lightning to shoot up to fucking 5,000. The power. Ouch. And I guess he's like, I'll do more damage, please, but please, doesn't seem like he's the right. Plus, what does it say? Once per turn, I can attack the material to pop? Yeah, what does that say? Let's turn, carry one face of Kyrie Kong. So that's why he took it out. So he, but the please negated, you know? Yeah, Utopia is too strong. Right now he is. I'm straight. You damn skippy he is. But I'm just gonna kill him with the door. Let's go ahead and play it up first. Shut up, please. It's gonna be annoying because please he's negated, so he's gonna pretty much keep on asking me over and over again, like, hey, you wanna do this? Hey, you wanna do this? Hey, you wanna do this? So yeah. We'll go ahead and summon. Summon. Alright, go into Adora. Perfect. We touched it to Crane. What can make you unaffected? Yeah, sure, it doesn't matter. Then the Crane. It's good. Oh. Okay, it's effects are still get it. I was wondering if it, would, if it would become unaffected by the effect of 107, but guess not. Just curious, just a test. The test, this is only a test. So I got this just negated sad little pleadies. Well, I'm heading to kill Utopia the Lightning. Definitely the strongest of the Utopias just because it's the easy accessibility and powerful effect. Hermes and 5000? Like, power. Like, man, fuck your killer. Like, when this comes down to TCG, man, please, just like, don't even try to kill it because anybody who can make a rank 4 is just Utopia, Lightning, Tap, Effect, Yeah. So, whew, the power. Alright, just gonna go ahead and set his scales up again. Just gonna go ahead and play that and end so we can go ahead and end the battle phase. I'm gonna pull a bunch of card attack and show this card in the, end, in the battle phase, so. Yeah, what I'm wondering is if, is if his tag partner is just gonna go ahead and make another lightning. From how many lightnings, utopias, and stuff he actually runs. You know, this is already just an extra deck space just to run the Utopia 1. Your life points are at least 3,000 higher than me. If your opponent's up, uh, you can cast three Xe materials on this card, which would be all the Xe materials, then pay life points that you only have. Ten left. Destroy all special and monster your opponent controls, and if you do, banish them. If we three hundred, uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. That's not a good effect. I'm sorry. I wouldn't. Ten life points. Shit. Shit. You, you thought fucking getting cowboy? You got, you know, got ten fucking life points. So on this tag duel, I mean, right, if he makes another one right now, we would have more than 3,000 life points than them. So he can go Topia, and then plot this on top, which would be three materials to attach all three, then drop his life points to 10 and wipe us, and then I sure we get banished and we take 900. Now, it's not counting the fact that Felgrand and Dora can block themselves and make themselves unaffected. So 300, and you wouldn't even kill, and you still would drop your life points to 100. I mean, might need to 100, to 10. That's, that's weird, that's a really weird number. Can you play like Solemn Warning? That's fine. You play like Solemn Warning and, and cut your life points in half. <laughs> Five! 
<laughs> I mean, solemn judgment. <laughs> That's not a warning. You can't even play solemn at that point. Solemn judgment. You just be like, five! Five! <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and then go, 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 giant. Giant. It's called long summon. Time to fire a monster. Graveyard. Summon it. Okay. You can't exit on. You're actually up on resources. Oh, and you're gonna drop the Kage too. Okay. Okay. I'm trying for. I'm trying to see what he's gonna do. I'm assuming that he's gonna go into that powerful Patola Mayos and then slap on Nova, slap on Infinity. See? See, Senor, is that what you're gonna do? Like I said, the three level fours just literally just turn into Patola Mayos and so. Like, Shockmaster is not even banned in the OCG, and no one even runs it just because it's just like, oh, three level fours, uh, Patola Miles, detach all three, slap on Nova, slap on Infinity, like, <gasps> everybody's like, oh, Patola Miles, oh, they just quit. Everybody's like, well, Patola Miles needs to go, Patola Miles is the problem, like, it's Infinity is the problem. Because if we, let's say, we'll go ahead and ban Patola Miles, then if you want to run Infinity, to do like what I did with the Cyber Dragon deck and just slap on some fucking fights, you know? Do the fucking Insta Fusion Cyber Dragons and shit like that. Well, I guess they only have one Insta Fusion over there on OCG, but still, you can do it. You can still do an Infinity not deck. But if you ban Infinity and keep Ptolemyos, I mean, what's the best you could do with Ptolemyos? Go into a police with one XC material. So, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and call that a video. So, like I said, I apologize. So, here it is. And then Luna Tridia 2. So, you get three daily duels today. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Hopefully, this won't happen again. And, uh, yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow. Not with Tower Knights, because you already seen Tower Knights, but with Cleese. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.